Hey guys, Papa Rossi back here, uh, talking ball cards. Um, lately, almost all my videos have been exclusively been uh, PSA and SGC reveal videos, so I'm changing it up a little bit. I haven't done a uh, mailbag slash uh, TTM um, video, summary video in a while. And so I, have, I haven't picking up some cards. I got a little bit of everything in here. Um, I'll go ahead and start it off with some recent TTM successes that I've had. Um, Let's see. We'll do a little football first. So, uh, Alexander Madison, he's uh, essentially the backup running back for the Vikings. Um, I caught him at his uh, training facility here. Uh, this is uh, obviously one of his rookie cards. He could get a lot more playing time this year. Um, Charlie Joyner, got him recently. Um, this is on his rookie card here. Signature still looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little bit of shakiness. This kind of smearing here. Uh, that's actually on the, the card saver. This one I was excited about. Um, I was able to get Paul Molitor here on his uh, rookie. I am debating whether or not I should try and send it to Alan Trammell, who also I got a return from. So I sent this as kind of like a test card to see if uh, Trammell was signing, and he is. Um, what do you guys think? Do I send this one off to try and get Trammell on here as well? Let me know. Two cool returns either way. Um, Vito Valentinetti. I've uh, gotten him before. Got him again. I had not um, gotten his 57 tops. So 57 tops from Vito. Thank you. He also put something else in here on here. Um, like a little, give me a little summary card. Best wishes. Kind of cool. Summarizing his career. Um, let's see here. Got Ken Singleton. Uh, sent him two cards. Got him on this Diamond Kings card that's kind of cool. That signature, um, got a little scuffed up or a little smeared. Um, this one on the 83 Don Russ looks a little better. Let's see. Um, got Bobby Brown. So pretty rare uh, to be able to, you know, get one of these old timers that's on a, you know, a 51 Bowman card here. Um, Bobby Brown, I think I saw um, he was uh, uh, got the same card signed. Uh, uh, well, Chris Cards got this card signed on his uh, Monday TTM segment. So, Chris, thanks for that uh, heads up. Uh, Frank Duffy. Here on this nice uh, uh, 72 tops. Pretty cool. Nice signature there, Mr. Duffy. I have some more Duffy cards I could send off. Let's see. Okay. Uh, keeping with the theme of signatures, um, I went after these on eBay a while back. And uh, these were cards. Um, it, I think these are old. What are they? Yeah, they're TCMA, TCMA cards uh, from, let's see. It says here 1982. So they're not certified, but uh, from a pretty trustworthy eBay seller. So I've got Harmon Killebrew here. Stand the Man Mutual. Um, this is probably the biggest one um, that I got. Eddie Matthews. So some guy must have went to some event or something and got all these guys at the same time, I'm assuming, uh, because they're all on these TCMEA cards. M-A, T-C-M-A. Yogi Berra. That's cool. Um, let's see, I think this was like 25 bucks. Eddie Matthews was 15. I think the Stan Musial was like 35, so the most expensive there. Uh, Richie Ashburn. Orlando Cepeda. Book Pal. Ralph Kiner. These cards look okay. I mean, <laughs> they're kind of cool. Um, Billy Williams. As you can see, I went after essentially all, exclusively all Hall of Famers. Jim Bunning who was a prolific TTM guy, but um, obviously he's passed away. So 
not an option for TTM, but I was happy to get that. Okay, let's get into some of the baseball pickups. Um, I got a bunch of Griffey rookies. Um, I'm gonna eventually, I'll eventually get these graded. Here's the uh, 89 Don Russ, 89 Bowman. Uh, pretty nicely centered for these. Uh, these these are notoriously off center. Slightly bigger card, pretty cool. Uh, the Fleer score. Is this what is this score traded? Yeah, uh, this is traded. And then the tops traded. Pretty sweet. Um, a, a really sharp card here too. Um, I think most of these will make it into a PSA order, but I don't think I'm going to pre preview my PSA or my SGC submissions anymore. They're just not as popular of a video. Um, let's see. We'll just get into a few out of time here. Uh, 53 Klazuski. I uh, got a Maze and Cepeda Giant Gunners. There's some new stuff mixed in. Here. Well, new-ish. Got a Adrian Beltre rookie. I believe this is his rookie. Yeah. Uh, one of the bigger cards that I've picked up recently, uh, the 57 Maze. I have hopes for this, like uh, getting a six. That's some print defect here, but I still think it'll be enough for PSA six. Uh, seven Deceiver. Got a couple more 70s in here. Hammer and Hank and Lou Brock. Couple of pickups. Uh, I got the 70s all from the same guy. Um, 1960 home run leaders. Got Mantle on here, Calavito, and Roger Maris. Got a uh, 75 tops of Bill Madlock. He had a nice little career. This is his uh, rookie cup card. So you got another 53, Joe Collins. It's a nice card. Um, really nice shape for a 53. Uh, jumped out at me, the colors and just how stunningly bright the card is. Uh, 70 Jackson, all-star card. Let's see, I got a uh, Rocket rookie here. <laughs> this I didn't have this rookie. This is his Fleer. Um, pretty sharp card, too. This one could make its way in an order. Uh, Sox, Sockers. Yaz and Schilling on there. 71 Palmer. This is a nicer card. Um, measure's a little small. So likely an SGC candidate there. Here's another couple of cards that both actually measured small. That's why I kind of have them bunched together. Um couple really nice ones though with this Marichal and Brooks Robinson. <laughs> Robinson. Um, <laughs> guess I'm a little tired. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, so this is his, uh, Mrs. Marichal's uh, second year card. I like these 62s. Let's see, uh, 68 Yaz, yes. pretty sharp card here. I do have this already and I in a PSA eight that came back from a um, that came back from PSA recently, two nice ones here. Nineteen uh, sixties, Bob Gibson. Um, so this would be his second year card, and this is this is one that I think has a chance at a six or a PSA six or a seven. Does have some snow in the image. Damn, glare. Back to the glare. <laughs> um, Stan Musial. I think I do have a copy of this in a PSA 4, or it's like a, a half grade, a PSA 4.5. But this is nicer. This one's much nicer. Um, I think this one has a shot at like a 6. Um, got a uh, all-star, Scalron. Bill Scalron. Here's a, one of the bigger ones, 59 Banks. I do not have this card. Um, I think this has a chance at a 6, in my opinion. Another one of the uh, bigger pickup made a while back, 58 Maze. Um, colors just jump off this card. Um, stunningly nice, some very light uh, print marks. This card is kind of notorious for having print marks on this in this blue, but it looks pr 
pretty damn good. Um, got a couple 64s up next. 64 Duke Snyder. Don't think I have that one. Getting a little long in the tooth there. Um, let's see. He'd already made it up to... He was at, well, 2,000 hits and 400 home runs here. Uh, this, this one, you know... Uh, it's kind of interesting 68. It's off top to bottom pretty bad But what's what was kind of shocking about this card is the level of miscut <laughs> On the back man. Look at this. I Don't even know. I mean Harry bright. I'm assuming that Harry bright was next to him on the on the sheet but looking over here on this edge, I don't even think that's I Don't even think those are um, the stats for Frank. So I don't and then this this one right here. This says Tom and then this looks like a this is talking about Some sort of uh, some Name has to be in here. He still holds the major league mark for having caught in 1918 game 18 games. So maybe that's a Yogi. Is that maybe Yogi Berra? Uh, Old Brooklyn Dodgers. No, I don't know. But it's the most miscut card I've ever seen. Um, another kind of, well, here's a Tony La Russa, um, rookie. I believe this is his rookie. I'm going to send this off to him, try and get it signed. I think he's like $10 a card or something like that. Now, why would this be in my video? Al Stanek, <laughs> 64 tops. Well, another odd situation here. The back is completely blank. So... Um, Interesting error card or maybe it's not an error card. Maybe it's a, a sample or something You guys tell me um, if you know what that is. Let's see uh, 52 Bowman Ashburn Cool one there. Um, I got a boatload of Bonds rookies Got the Don Russ or uh, 86 Don Russ from the rookie set 87 Don Russ uh, Here's his uh, Fleer Fleer card. Uh, I got a few more. <laughs> got the 86 tops traded, the 87 tops. There's the 86. And then the Fleer. I haven't I've never had this card. This one looks pretty good. Um, from the update, Fleer update, 86 Fleer update. Um, looks good. That might be a slab can. Um, God, I think I have this somewhere in my old uh, Foot Locker. Let me clear some of this out. I have an old Foot Locker that I have a lot of my old cards in, my closet, and I just, I haven't gone through it in a while. So I, I'm sure I have a copy of this somewhere, but I saw this on uh, Greg Morris cards and uh, picked it up for a couple of bucks. Pretty nice example. Probably somewhere around an eight in PSA world. Um, yeah, upper deck foil card here. Um, it's, it's not the Jeter that's exploded. Here's a Manny Ramirez. I got a pair of, uh, Leaf Sosa rookies. Don't know if I have this anywhere in my old stuff. Um, let's see, 62 tops, mutual plays in 21st season. Um, here he's already racked up some pretty incredible stats at 3,400 hits. Um, so 3,400 hits, 444 homers. So, um, this is one of his getting close to his last card. I think his last year is 63 or his last issue, um, for cards. This is a nice one though. Real sharp thinking like a seven on that. Got a 72, uh, Yaz. Pretty nice card there too. Um, 60 Gil Hodges. Um, pick this up. Uh, from a fellow YouTuber, uh, Broth or Broth Six. <laughs> Thanks for this, man. Appreciate it. Uh, nice card. He is uh, selling cards and uh, uh, buying and selling quite a bit. So reach out to him if, if you're interested in something you've seen or something he has for sale. Fifty-five Boyer. I don't think this is his rookie. I think this is his second year card. Um, not 100% sure on that. 
Okay, let's see here, moving along. Um, I got a couple basketball cards here, nothing huge. Got a uh, Fleer 90 All-Star Jordan. Nice card here. Um, got a Pete Maravich, I believe this is his rookie. So a nice card here. Um, saw it for a buy it now. Can't remember what I paid, but um, I think it was a good deal based on how I think it'll grade from PSA. Uh, moving into football here, got some some old, some new. Got a couple Moss rookies here, uh, 98 Absolute. Kind of uh, got that uh, little die cut there on that corner. Got his uh, score here, sweatpants rookie. Um, got this NFL Top Stars. I don't know what brand this is. Well, it's numbered. I didn't realize that. Numbered out of three. 3,999. I'm not sure. I can't remember which one which one this is. I think this was a lot that I bought off of uh, Nolan uh, KC Futures out of his store. Uh, I believe this is a e EX Moss. Here's a Flair Showcase Cool Manning card. Just uh, showcasing how enormous his head is. Also, just went after uh, Manning for for a uh, signature on one of his um, cheaper rookie cards. But anyways, that's in the mail. Making a donation to his uh, Payback Foundation. Under Pressure, Fleer Tradition. Uh, a couple of newer cards here. Irv Smith Jr. This is uh, from Panini Encased Product. Uh, got uh, Looks like we got some football material, jersey, and uh, looking like some more jersey here. But cool card. Um, guys, going to probably get a little more play this year. Um, Nikhil Harry, real banged up yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Real banged up last season, not yesterday. Um, hopefully he gets a little more playing time too. Not the best receiving core for the, uh, for the Pats right now, but I'm sure they'll figure it out like they always do. Um, Mike Evans. Um, out of 49... What is this? Panini Impeccable. Here's some uh, Riley Ridley. Out of 75. On card auto here. This is from the Panini One product. I really like the Panini One product. Uh, Calvin Ridley. Interesting uh, signature there. Just a couple. You know, we got a C and then a... I don't know. A three-quarter circle and an underline. <laughs> um... He's ascending as old man Julio is uh, getting up there. Here's another guy I'm uh, looking at as a potential breakout uh, for this year, Anthony Miller. Um, especially if uh, Mitch Trubisky is out of the way. So maybe he can uh, take, a, take a step on the home stretch here. Got some more of uh, these like 80, yeah, 89 score. A um, couple Rod Woodsons. I'm going to pick out the best one and sub that. Try and get a 10 on that. PSA 10. Andre Risen. Got another one of these Dion's. Um, I couldn't believe how much. So there's a pretty big jump between what this goes for raw compared to, um, you know, what a PSA 9 does or a PSA 10, obviously. This doesn't have the centering for a 10. But um, market's pretty strong for that card. He's a Thurman Thomas rookie. Got a Bo Jackson rookie. I've never had this card. Um, looks pretty clean, but I was taking a look at the back, and it's got like this weird residue. Not sure if that's a wax stain or what's going on with that. Um, <laughs> iconic Bo card here. The Bo card. <laughs> um, so it's kind of a cool one. Got a Steve Young rookie here. Um, probably like a... PSA 6. These cards are notoriously tough. Eric Dickerson. Um, I think this is a second. Uh, it looks like a, a third or fourth year card for him. Eric Dickerson. And then uh, Chris Carter. 89 score. And that's it, guys. Um, hope you liked this recap. Got a little bit of everything in here. Some TTMs and recent pickups. Um, I only have one card out with PSA right now, but uh, going to be doing some more subs soon. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Paparazzi talking ball cards out of here.